right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and a new rep stopped in from uh, well, a company we've been dealing business, doing business, a little business with, Coastal, not Coastal from the Southern Wine and Spirits arm of uh, Coastal. This is a different company with a similar name and Coastal Wine and Spirits, I think, anyways. And they've got some good wines, Caseland Imports. They've got uh, so this is some stuff from Argentina also that's very good, the Chancana wine. Uh, excellent. You know, I've been saying for a long time, you cannot beat the value you get uh, from Bordeaux varietals coming from Argentina and Chile. Well, the Mendoza white we had a little bit corked, you know, and it's kind of like being pregnant. Sometimes you can't tell, but with this wine, a little musty. And, you know, the secret is the longer the wine sits on the table, the worse usually that mustiness gets. And uh, this wine, you know, just slightly musty, but got a little bit worse as the day went on. Uh, I'd like to try a good example of that wine. The Anne de Roche Cote de Rhone. Della Roche, rather. Uh, this is a blend of 50% Syrah, Grenache, Mouvedre, uh, organically farmed, which a lot of people organically farm in the Cote de Rhone, the Southern Rhone. There's not a lot of, you know, rain and difficult, uh, you know, conditions at harvest that lead to, you know, vineyard disease. So you find a lot of organic and biodynamic wines, even in a $14 price range like this one. Fresh berry pie, fruit notes of uh, flowers, herbs, and a hint of peppery spice. A light and easy dry wine with a short but pleasant finish. At $14, like I said, some great value in this part of France. The Boussy, Chianti Rafina, uh, a bit of a burnt rubber nose uh, to this wine on the little bit of red berry fruit, some bitter greens and earth, and, uh, you know, kind of pleasant on the palate, some soft red cherry fruit, herbs, a little bit short, uh, $15, $25, uh, you know, just a good wine. And the uh, Chancana wines, which were excellent, both of these wines, the Red Blend and the Aini, uh, both outstanding. The Red Blend, uh, Malbec, Cabernet, and Syrah, to me the best wines in Argentina are blends, and uh, spends up to 10 months in New French Oak, and uh, this is from Family Estate Vineyards in Lujan de Coyo. This wine, very complex, fresh earth, blackberry, blueberry fruit, sweet tobacco spice, some barnyardy kind of earthy notes, really nice richness on the tongue, smooth ripe brown tannins, into peppery spice on the finish, excellent juice at 28 50. And then their top wine, and uh, this is another layer of richness and concentration here, a little licorice, some violet, 100% Malbec. This wine spends 12 months in French oak, big and chewy on the tongue with thick blackberry fruit and uh, that violet floral notes, that licorice, that dark spice and tobacco lasting through the finish. Still young, this wine could use a little bit of time, both of these wines, 2013 vintage, but everything in proportion here, even better on the second day at $42, excellent juice. And then a little Brunello de Montalcino, 2008, which it was a forward vintage. This is kind of a softer style of Brunello, and at 54 bucks, you know, lighter in the price tag also, some porcini mushroom, dried meat, red berry fruit, fine herbs here, a really soft and easy drinking style, a little bit light, but pleasant, not very complex, a very good wine. All right, that's what we had to drink with our friends from Coastal. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.